All right, so lesson six is about the if statement or the if function. It's actually quite important, so let's dig into this. So if you read through all the text here, it's uh, gonna have us change two properties of this button, okay? So if we go over here, um, so this is the submit button. Again, if, if this was my project, what I would recommend doing is actually giving this a meaningful name like BTN for button submit. And it wants us to change the text property of this button based on the value of this discount slider here. All right, so how do we get to the text? So it says on select here. So instead of going there, let's go to the text. Now, you, again, you could pick text here. The easiest way is simply to go to this right pane for the properties and click on the word text. There we go. And it wants us to type in this expression here, this if statement. And as you can see, those parentheses, it's if, You've got parentheses, and inside those parentheses, you have three parameters. So the first value in an if statement is going to be an expression that evaluates to true or false. Okay, so if we look at their expression here in the right side, it says if discount.value. So I'm imagining this slider control is called discount, and it is. So if discount.value is greater than 20, the greater than or less than operator, also an, an equals operator, will give you either a true or false value, which is what you need in an if statement. So the very first parameter, you could type in true or false, but what, what would be the use in that? You need something dynamic in there that's that's based on variables or um, uh, an equation. The value of the discount slider is either going to be greater than 20 or it's not. It's going to be either true or false. Now, if it's true, this expression is going to return the, the text request approval. And if this first parameter is false, if it's not over 20, the text that's going to be returned is submit order. Okay, so let's do that. Let's click on this uh, button. We'll click on the word text here. We're going to go up here instead of being a, what I would call a string literal for this text property, this button, we're going to put in here an if statement. I'm going to move this. We actually need that string there, so I don't have to type it in again. So we'll do an if. And, of course, we need an ending parenthesis, beginning and ending parenthesis, if we call a function or, uh, within Power Apps here. So the first thing here is discount uh, dot value greater than 20, comma. need those commas to separate the parameters or the arguments into a function. And uh, the true part is going to be request approval. Then we need another comma. So separate the second and the third parameter. And there we go. All right, let's try this out. Let's hit the play button. And let's move this slider around a little bit. So when it hits the 20, I'm sorry, over 20, when it becomes greater than 20, see if it's just at 20. If it's 20, it's not over 20, right? So anything all the way up until 20, um, it's going to be one thing. It's going to be submit order. And if it's anything over, she says request approval. So the, sec the second step of this lesson is to actually change the fill, the background color of this button based on this value as well. So let's save ourselves some time by copying what we had. So we're going to click on the button, click on text. There's our if expression or if function that we call with three parameters and let's go to the fill the background for this button oops i just clicked on the wrong thing there we go so it's gray right now we're going to paste this in and of course we're going to have an error because what this if function is returning is actually text and we actually need to return a color so instead of request approval we're going to put the word red in there and that word red in Power Apps evaluates to a special color value than Power Apps. And then here, uh, we'll just say gray. Okay, I'm going to run it and move this thing around. So 20 and below, it's going to be gray, it's mid order. Anything over 20, it's going to be request approval and it's going to be in red. So hopefully that makes it clear how to use the if statement. You'll be using it a lot as you build your own Power Apps. So this is definitely one to keep in, keep in mind. Did you know this is a part of a 20 part series which goes over all the basics of Power Apps? And if you like this video, chances are you'll want to check out the other parts as well. I'll put the links down below to the playlist. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? 
Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can give decks six months of power up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Up Deep Dive Masterclass.